What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So if you guys caught the last video, hold on, let me switch hands here. Two bottle babies. If you guys caught the last video, you know we had a little bit of a uh, missing person here on the farm. We were missing a baby goat. I was trying to show you guys the last baby goat that should be born for this kidding season and it was gone. And I had talked about the eagles that have been soaring over. Um, right now the eagles have little babies so they are hunting pretty fiercely trying to get food for all their babies that hatched. And uh, we don't live that far from the creek or from the lake so there are a lot of eagles in our area and they have tried to kind of swoop down and get some of our animals before. Although we didn't see it get the baby goat. We didn't know. But last night, after I made that video, Rachel came out here and she found the mama and the baby. There's my two bottle babies. So yes, the uh, mama and the baby are still here on the fa farm. Excuse me. And I'm gonna try to find them here in uh, just a little bit, but I gotta get these babies fed real quick. Little Henry's like, here, I'll feed myself. Look at him. Oh, hold on, I gotta set the camera up, guys. Seriously, Henry? He said, I'm hungry, man. Here you go. And we don't have a name for this little girl yet. Don't even try it, goats. Shh, shh. Get out of here, this ain't for you. Hey. Shh. Guys, this is, hey. Shh. Leave the camera alone. It's a camera, not food. Get out of the way. Now they're trying to headbutt it. Here you go. See if I can do this one-handed. So you can see everybody is just as nosy as can be. Henry, are you done? Kimmy! Where's Kimmy? There's Kimmy right there. We are going to try to find her baby today. Rachel said it is a little cream colored baby. Henry, you are making a mess. You're getting milk all over your face, buddy. Hello, what's going on? Henry drinks so fast, he has to take a break. This one here is just kind of steady and gradual. Henry gets in a huge hurry. And of course, my phone starts ringing. Ow! And I get pecked by in you at the same time. Oh joy. Okay. Okay. What is going on? Here. Finish your bubble. Quit. Sometimes we just need like three arms, right? Quit. Quit. Okay. Okay, we are done bottle feeding. Now, let's see if we can find that baby. Tammy, is that your baby? This must be the notorious baby that was hiding. There it is. Wow, that is a beautiful little baby. So how did we not find it in the last video? You guys seen, I walked out here. I walked the fence lines. I walked down the hill over there. This baby was nowhere to be found. But that's it. That is the baby. It is a little boy. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, the eagles did not steal the baby. Um, Kimmy is a good mom. She's a good goat. She's a beautiful goat. Um, she usually has twins. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, this year she just had a single. But it's a good, healthy-sized baby. 
so it's not a little bitty tiny baby so if an eagle did want to come and get it it would have a uh, kind of a hard time trying to pick it up not saying they can't but it's not like a little teeny tiny what are you doing henry huh what are you doing little henry you just being friendly today huh you just being friendly today all right so here we go so it's not even close to being fiend time it's still early in the morning um, I just wanted to come out here and uh, get this video started give everybody an update on oh, the baby is not missing no uh, bad news good news to report got some baby playing on rocks this goose has a feather morning let's go check on the ducks real quick and uh, make sure have any more problems you guys know in the last video I you guys one of the baby ducks didn't make it for some reason so we still got uh oh why am I only seeing two hey move my mom can't see how many ducks there is okay there's three in there three babies Buddy's hiding back here. So yeah, um, the baby's here. So it was just hiding. I promise. I I spent at least 30 minutes out here yesterday while I was doing the video trying to find that baby, and I could not find it anywhere. And uh, Rachel came back out later, couldn't find it, and then uh, she's like, "Well, I ain't gonna be able to go to sleep until I find the baby." So she came out last night with a flashlight. She found Cammy, and sure enough, the baby was laying right next to Cammy. So, Eagle didn't get it this time. So, uh, we'll we'll come back here in a little bit later this evening when it's feeding time. It's gonna be a hot one today. It's supposed to be like 92 degrees. So we'll come back and uh, finish the video. Look at Henry. He said, "I'm gonna hang out with the emus today." That little bottle goat is uh, silly. Emmys are just kind of babysitting them. They're like, Henry will be your, I'll be your mama, Yoneg said. I don't have any milk, but I can show you how to eat grass and bugs. That is funny. <laughs> Alright guys, fast forward several more hours. We're uh, well into the evening time now. The sun is baking down on us. And uh, I got a lot of little friends right here that are saying, why are you, uh, why do you not have any buckets of feed? Well, we're going to feed here in a little bit. I don't even know if I'll feed on camera or not. But look at this. Look how crazy it gets. I actually kind of snuck up on them this time. But we got a big problem we got to address first. Hey. I probably can't even talk in the video where they can hear me. You know what? Excuse me. No buckets, no food. I don't have any food right now, guys. We gotta do something. We gotta address a problem. So, yesterday evening, we had some company over. Um, you guys know Dutch and Brandy from uh, the YouTube channel, Keeping It Dutch. Um, we had to go over some of the stuff about the Oki Homesteading Expo. So we invited them over for dinner last night. And when they came over, I was actually filming a video for the new channel, our new YouTube channel, Untamed Outdoors. I was filming a video on how I prepare and cook our catfish. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out that video over on the other channel, Untamed Outdoors. And anyways, um, I was sitting there cooking. It's kind of funny story. I was sitting there on the back patio cooking. I had my back turned. And as soon as they pulled up, like two seconds later, as soon as I seen their car, somebody was running around the house. I said, hey, the goats are out. And I'm like, what? The goats are out? I was just out there a little bit ago. Well, what happened is somehow the goats pushed over a panel we got over here on the fence. And Bo, the buck, and like 12 of the goat kids 
was out in the woods. Um, they got out of the pen. So Rachel had to run out here. I was in the middle of frying fish and trying to get all that cooked and I couldn't just leave it because it would have burned and all that type of stuff. So she had to run up here. Um, Kaya and Caleb ran out here. Dutch and Brandy's kids were all out here. I seen people climbing the fence and they were like chasing the goats back and forth. And uh, they finally got them all back in and I was like, how in the world did that happen? I'm gonna show you guys. I'm trying to do this one hand. It's a better from here. Rachel had to run out here and close this gate. This is the gate that uh, goes to the bottom here. If you guys are new to the channel, this is a highly, highly, extremely, not highly, extremely steep hill. You can't, you can't even drive a tractor down here. It's so steep. The video does not do justice. But anyways, I got a panel over here because sometimes when I when I did, uh, when I was getting the Polaris Ranger and the tractor and stuff in here, whenever I was building all this fence, I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't just drive down at that time because we had all this bulldoze at one time and it was like, it looked different then. So I had to come in at an angle and come pretty much parallel with this fence right here. So I had another gate over here that is just a cattle panel. Well, somehow last night, the goats figured out that they could, uh, I guess, use their weight and push this thing open. So this was uh, open, all the goats were getting out, and it wasn't good. So what I got now is just some aluminum wire. This is the same stuff that people use as like a uh, hot wire. You can hook this to an electric fence. It's a great conductor, and it will usually keep your animals in well. All I gotta do is, uh, this side, like I got right here, I just need to tie this other end up so then my uh, goats will not be able to push it open anymore. Because I don't know about you guys, but chasing goats is not that fun <laughs> at all. Because usually, when you have to chase goats, they usually don't do what you want them to do. They, they do their own thing. We'll just put a couple more strands on here. So it was actually good that Sean and Brandy has three kids because it took all our kids and Rachel out there, out here in the woods, in the chiggers chasing all those goats and trying to catch a goat out in the woods is not fun especially when they're at the age that they're at and i'll put one more Okay, that should do it. That should keep them in. So one might ask, why does the goats even want to get out? Don't they get scared? Well, I don't know if you guys can see all this foliage back here, all these leaves. That's like candy to goats. The goats absolutely love eating that type of uh, vegetation more than they do grass. They like weeds a lot too, but if they can get these leaves on these trees, they will do it. They will try to escape. They'll try to do anything to eat that kind of stuff. So if I pan the camera around here and you guys look, there's no trees in here. There's no limbs, there's nothing. When we first built this fence down here, it took me a while to do it because of this terrain right here. I mean, this thing goes straight down. I had to drive these posts and all that. Well, anyways, all this right here 
had trees just like that. There was trees here that had thorn trees, all kinds of stuff in here that was, you know, just kind of like nuisance stuff. It wasn't no oak trees or nothing like that. It was like locust trees and just all kinds of different trees that were just like pretty much worthless, you might say. Well, after a couple years of the goats grazing in here and browsing around, they finally got all those trees, the briars, the thorns, all that stuff out of here. Now it's pretty much just weeds and grass and rocks, as you can see. It is, uh, it's very steep. So it's perfect goat terrain. You probably won't want to raise cattle or anything else on it, but anyways, that's what it is. So they don't have a lot to eat down here. So that's usually why they try to get out. And uh, I better open this all the way. Don't need nobody getting stuck in here. Don't need no goats getting stuck in here. So now, everybody's starving you, you guys know how we starve our animals here come outside every five minutes they're yelling at you feed me feed me feed me it's never ever enough well there's little Henry it's not quite time for your bubba either you know that not quite time for your bubba Henry all right so there's not a lot going on out here um, you guys seen a new baby like I said, the eagle didn't get it. I don't know where in the world she had that baby hiding. But he wins the hide and go seek championship for this month. And look at this chicken right here. Look at her. Look at her goofy head feathers. You guys got a good name for her? If you do, leave your uh, comment or leave your name down in the comments below. What's a good name for this hen right here? You got some funky hair, girl. All right. So, I'm not gonna feed yet. Like I said, it's uh, well into the evening time, but the sun is uh, bright and hot right now. So, we'll wait a little bit and um, feed because if I go out and feed right now you guys know the dogs they're not gonna have much of an appetite in this heat what about you sir he said I'll eat anytime I don't care here's the other bottle baby but you know little bottle baby we gotta find you a name what's a good name for this little girl huh? what's a good name for you you already have a name yon egg please don't peck the camera lens if you know how expensive these cameras was you wouldn't be you wouldn't mess with them. Okay. You kind of look scary when you do that. Don't do that. You look, hey, you look kind of freaky. Are you just being nosy or, hey, 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 Don't do that. I'll scratch you. I'll scratch you if you just be still. There you go. Yeah. You're pretty good. You're a pretty good bird most of the time. I've seen, I have seen some other channels and stuff online. Um, on Instagram and all over social media that, that raise emus and some people have some of these emus that are just constantly terrorizing the owners. Excuse me, can I get out of here girls? Pumpkin, I need out. Can I get open the gate? Let me open the gate, Pumpkin. Thank you. All right. So that's one thing off my list. Getting that dadgum panel wired shut again because <laughs> there's nothing worse than when you raise animals. If you guys have a farm or you raise any kind of animals, it don't matter if it's a cat or dog, if you try your best to contain your animals in your yard, in your pasture, your pens, whatever, and someone calls you or someone says, hey, your animals are out. Well, that's a bad feeling. Um, it's stressful. It is uh, scary because there's predators out there. Even though we got the guard dogs in on our property, when they leave your farm, they're unprotected. So that's a bad thing. So while I'm out here, I want you guys to see some of the blackberries that we got going on here. Look at this. We got a load of blackberries. Just waiting for them to uh, ripen up. 
Yeah, you girls leave my blackberries alone. Okay. You got you, you girls leave my blackberries alone. Let's go see Solo real quick. We'll go take a look at the bees too. People's been asking about the bees. Oh, you need some water, Solo. Solo is starting to get a green head. I know you guys probably can't see on the camera. But uh, his little head or her head starting to kind of get green off the other ones. Excuse me. Oh, we can go see Cor and Lisky while we're out here too. Miss Cor is laying over here in the shade. Lisky's laying in the shade. Everybody's just doing their own little thing, trying to stay cool. And I just spotted some wildlife. Look at this. You guys see the you guys see the wild uh, cottontail rabbit? Right between those two trees right there, there's a cottontail, and I've been noticing, Rachel and I both have been noticing the dogs, every evening they've been laying right there along the fence on the other side of the pond, and we couldn't figure out why, but I think that is why, because they have been hunting these rabbits. They've been kind of like trying to stalk them. What are, you doing? what are you doing, Cora girl? Huh? You gonna come see me? I know you guys aren't hungry yet. I know you guys ain't hungry yet. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy, yeah. He's a good boy. Cora, you gonna come see me? Come on. Come here, girl. You been swimming? Huh? Y'all been swimming? Well, you don't look wet. It's hot enough to be swimming, I know that. Hey, Miss Cora, come here, girl. It's a hot one today, isn't it? Huh? It's a hot. It's a hot day. Well, her didn't have no puppies this year. No, nope, her didn't. Her didn't have no puppies. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, you. Uh. Uh oh. Look at this. I've got to go get you some spray. She's been scratching her ears. Both her ears have sores on them. So uh, I gotta go address that first thing. Okay, plans just changed. I gotta go get some medicine now. So real quick, while I'm walking back to the shop, we'll take a look at the bees. But uh, I gotta doctor her ears. You guys, I don't know if you guys seen where she's been scratching on her ears. Usually that's from like the the little flies. Look at this. There's two more rabbits. Oh, I think I missed it. Where they at? Two more rabbits just ran right down that fence, chasing each other. That's definitely what them dogs are watching. Those rabbits are sitting there teasing the dogs. But I have news for them. We have a cat named Smeagol. And Smeagol is like a ultimate hunter. And he will bring them back. He will, he will bring back adult rabbits. Okay, so the, the sores on her ears is from her scratching. Because these flies land on them. And she, they like bite her ears. They do this. They don't do it to Lisky. His hair's a little different, but Cora's hair's real short. And they did this last year. Some kind of fly that lands on her, and we give her Brevecto, which is good for fleas and ticks and that type of stuff. But for some reason, it don't keep the flies off of her. So I'm gonna go get some spray and some medicine to spray her ears, and hopefully that will uh, keep them off of her. So. Anyways, we're here at the bees. Real quick before we end the video, let's take a look. We got these two hives here that are very, very healthy. I'm going to have to get my bee suit on here pretty quick and check and see if they got some uh, honey for us. They had honey over a month ago in that green box right there. I added the white one and hopefully we'll get a double of honey. And then our beehive way back there in the back of the field. I checked that one the other day and it's probably the strongest one on the whole farm so it's looking good for honey this year if we can just keep getting rain and uh keep the flowers and the trees and everything all bloomed out then the wildflowers all everything that has nectar in it that the bees forage on then we're gonna have a great turnout for honey here probably for any time i need to try to harvest it and then if it continues raining they'll have a uh a fall harvest too 
Um, they'll keep collecting all through the summer and then you can harvest usually right before fall time, about fall time, before winter time. You can, usually don't take all the honey then because you want to leave them some for food over the winter. But we've done that quite a few years. So it's always a good feeling when you actually get a harvest of honey from your bees because it's a lot of work. Okay, everybody's hungry. I got to get Cora's ear doctor. That's number one thing right now. I'm not going to bring you guys along for that. I'm just going to try to get it done. And uh, I've rambled enough already in this video. So guys, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, check out our new channel, Untamed Outdoors. Um, so many of you have came over and subscribed and left awesome comments. You guys are watching those videos. It's pretty much stuff off the farm, except for this new one I'm doing. It'll be... It'll be coming out. Look for that. It's a uh, cooking catfish, but I talk about some stuff in there that you guys probably want to want to watch. So, anyways, go check that out. And uh, this chicken just did the weirdest thing. It flew and tried to get in that wagon, and it missed. So it caught it with its neck and tried to pull itself up, but it didn't work. So, anyways, you guys like this video? Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time. You guys are gonna have to wait for dinner. A little early still. We got a lot of light left.